Hi guys, my name is Sylvain Philippi, CTO of the DS Virgin Racing Formula E team. I am with a brand new DSV03 uh, today, and we are going to talk about the new Formula E rules for season four. So in season four this year, which we're about to start, we have new races, Santiago, Zurich, and Rome. There are also a lot of new drivers uh, in Formula E in season four, but the most important one, of course, is our own Alex Lynn, who was our reserve driver and raced in New York. On debut, Alex Lynn takes pole. And obviously impressed us very much, so we are looking forward to race with him this year. So the main rule change in season four is yet again more power, which is a good thing, right? So we're going to race this year at 180 kilowatts of power coming from the from the battery and the, and the powertrain, uh, which is an increase of 10 kilowatts compared to the 170 last year. And to put that into context, we're racing in season one at 150 kilowatts. So it's an overall 30 kilowatt increase, which is quite significant. So another addition in season four compared to last year is a, uh, for the first time, a rookie test, which will happen um, uh, mid-season. Um, on the Sunday after the race in Marrakech. And it's very interesting because it allows us for the first time the opportunity to test the new drivers um, and also to, uh, to have a further chance to, to develop the car. So we will make the most of that day. The last rule change um, is for double headers. Uh, we have quite a few um, coming up in season four. And um, this time around, we are only going to have one um, free practice session uh, on the second day of the double header rather than two. Uh, simply because we have already accumulated a lot of data on that track, so, so one session is enough. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our channel, click here, and to watch more videos, click here.